Welcome to the show, Five Shot Fam. I'm AJ. Before we get into it, become part of the notification squad by hitting the bell next to the subscribe button on YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Five Stripe Weekly, and unfortunately, you can hear that I am a little bit sick. Uh, I have a little bit of a sore throat, and it has effectively made me lose a little bit of my voice. But uh, yeah, you know, I have been a little bit under the weather lately, so apologies for the lack of video content on YouTube and on your podcasts. But I wanted to get an episode out because there were a, a flurry of news that uh, yeah needed to be talked about. So bear with me. I apologize for the hoarseness in my voice, but let's do it. Let's uh, you know I got a little bit of tea and some honey, and I'm gonna try to power through this as uh, well as we can. But. Yeah, so first bit of news is that Apple and MLS, they announced the MLS Season Pass. It will launch on February 1st in 2023. And uh, yeah, you know, it's a a subscription service that uh, who else, uh, you know, we we all need another subscription service, right? But no, it's, uh, yeah, it will uh, give this service to fans in over 100 countries and regions. And it'll have every MLS game. And uh, yeah, no blackouts. Uh, around $14.99 per month for the season or during the season or $99 per season. So it's, yeah, not too, too bad if you pay up front. I mean, that's a, a fairly reasonable fee to catch every single game. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I think, a huge, huge... Uh, statement in uh, in the the seriousness of this league, and that uh, fans can actually watch these games. It's wild, I know, but yeah, uh, I for one am excited about this. Very, very much excited. I know uh, that's been a contributor in how uh, a lot of Atlanta United fans have uh, kind of lost the. Uh, kind of lost the lust lost the uh la you know has lost its luster in terms of uh you know for a lot of fans they weren't really able to watch a lot of games because of all the various uh you know streaming services or tv uh channels that you had to go through to even catch a game and so yes this is huge huge news and i am uh stoked for all of us to be able to now uh yeah you know kind of more consistently be able to watch these games without having to go through so much rigmarole but uh yeah next bit of very very big news uh breaking news tonight i'm uh filming this on a thursday night just for transparency uh tiago almada he's been called into the argentina's official world cup squad as an injury replacement uh yeah i mean He's uh, one of the two emergency replacements by uh, Scaloni, their head coach, after Nico Gonzalez of Fiorentina and Joaquin Correa of Inter Milan. Uh, Both went down with injuries just days before the uh, debut against Saudi Arabia on November 22nd. So, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, amazing uh, thing for LA United and uh, for Tiago Almada, we have a person to follow, a player to follow in the World Cup in 2022. Um, you know, there's some other news that uh, alludes to that bit. But uh, yeah, the other player uh, joining Argentina is the Atletico winger Angel Correa. So yeah, it's a very, very talented squad. And he is the youngest uh, Argentine in that squad. So really really would be amazing if he gets some minutes and uh i mean it's Lionel messi's potential last dance it probably will be and so yeah it could be huge will he win it will messi win a world cup this could be his best last chance to do so and uh almada to be part of that would be amazing so uh best of luck to him but also Almada's family in this uh, kind of social media video 
wow. I mean, they are just so, so ecstatic. They're uh, all hugging each other, jumping up and down. Uh, babies are uh, bewildered, don't know what's going on, but it's an, uh, it's amazing scenes. It's just something that uh, is, yeah, to be reveled in. I mean, Almada at just 20 years old is going to the World Cup. But uh, next bit of news is Tom Bogert. He reports that LA United are working on a deal to sign free agent winger Derek Etienne Jr. Uh, apparently, uh, he's in Atlanta meeting with the club, touring the facilities, and then, but yeah, you know, nothing done, but apparently there are positive signs. Uh, Etienne, he's 26 next week, and he had a career best nine goals and six assists in 2022. And he won the 2020 Cup with the Columbus Crew. Uh, also has played for New York Red Bulls. But yeah, would be would we be paying for a career year? I mean, that's the uh, the question here. Is uh, you know, is this a fluke season? Is this uh, a sign of uh, things to come? I mean, 26, he's entering his prime. So uh, we would hope so if he is being courted and will be signed. But we will see and we will find out. But uh, next rumor as well. I mean, it's a busy Thursday. Uh, Fabian Renkel, he uh, reported that LA United are interested in signing 29-year-old uh, center back, uh, Mexican center back, Tony Alfaro. Or he goes also by Jose Alfaro. But Alfaro, he had 43 appearances in the last two years with DC United. Uh, he's coming off uh, 82.4% passing success rate. Uh, left footer, uh, yeah, a guy who can win a lot of aerial duels, is strong in the air. Uh, ball interceptions are really good. Uh, weaknesses is maybe a little bit of that passing. Um, and, uh, yeah, he uh, likes to play long balls and, uh, yeah, likes to tackle a lot, but... Uh, maybe go to ground too much but uh yeah commits a lot of fouls i would think yeah maybe it's a probably a left-footed uh leandro gonzalez Perez. so yeah uh you know having a couple dudes that uh you know would be uh, good in the air especially if if we sell uh, miles robinson or if we keep him we'll find out but um you know having a little bit of uh juanjo porata and uh jose alfaro I mean, yeah, right footer and a left footer could be good. Uh, what does that mean for Alan Franco? It would, it would be interesting. But, uh, yeah, so also LA United, uh, they played a friendly against Aberdeen in this uh, kind of uh, international window, essentially, more or less. It's not really international window. When it's, I guess it's the World Cup. But uh, Aberdeen, you know, they're in season. And, uh, yeah, you know, we... Uh, we had a little friendly at our training grounds, and uh, midfielder Johnny Villal, he showed out, uh, yeah, young academy kid. It was basically a bunch of academy and, uh, you know, basically uh, LA United 2 players that played against them, and uh, it was a 1-0 loss, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Noah Cobb, he also showed out. Uh, you also had uh, Tristan Traeger, who continues to impress. And yeah, you know, one nil against a Scottish Premier uh, Premiership side, consisting of uh, first and second team players. I mean, it's not a bad result to to get, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know pretty good, um, pretty good showing out for uh, LA United in that respect. But bear with me while I take a, a little sip of a, a tasty beverage but all right so uh la united they also uh announced their uh end of season moves and they exercise contract options on ozzy alonzo which is pretty surprising as uh you know he did uh get that uh acl injury but uh obviously they probably see some veteran leadership there that will be highly useful going forward uh, even if it's just uh, him and around the team, it probably uh, could be part of that. Uh, George Campbell, Jackson Conway, Anna McFadden, Miles Robinson, Mateo Sosetu, and Juanjo Porata all had their uh, contract options exercised. 
Uh, the interesting, uh, another one of those is Mateo Sosetu, where, yeah, I mean, at his 550,000, uh, left a lot of fans, I think, uh, kind of scratching their heads if uh, he's worth that still and whether we should have exercised the contract option. But, uh, yeah, Bocanegra, he, uh, he had something to, to say about Husetu afterwards, but we'll get to that in a sec. But, uh, yeah, the club also denied or declined contract options on Dylan Castanera, who, of course, uh, was injured early uh, as a goalkeeper. Raul Gudinho, uh, who uh, was our starting goalkeeper at the end of the season, and uh, homegrown Bryce Washington, who uh, unfortunately didn't seem like he was really uh, proving himself as much, and so they have let him go. But uh, also Mikey Ambrose, Alex DeJohn, and Amar Sadich are out of contract. And uh, yeah, there are apparently active discussions with Sadich, and uh, also the loans of Ronaldo Cisneros and Rocco Rios Novo expire at the end of the calendar year. And uh, nothing has been, uh, yeah, basically said uh, too hard about uh, Rocco Rios Novo. But uh, Boca Negra did say a buy option on Cisneros was apparently too high. And they're having conversations with Chivas uh, and his agents about bringing him back. But... Uh, also, uh, when asked about Joseph Martinez, uh, he said, uh, Bocanegra, he said that they've had many conversations, uh, with Martinez and his agent about his future, but nothing has been decided. Everything, everyone is positive. So, you know, <laughs> pretty much it leaves a lot left up in the air a little bit there. But, uh, also, uh, Tom Boger, he, uh, Reported that Miles Robinson, his contract expires after 2023, but uh, Bocanegra is working on an extension uh, and that we have a four-year guaranteed deal on the table for Miles, apparently. So, uh, And he said, we hope to have good news by the end of the year. So I think, yeah, if anything, uh, this is a move to at least secure, uh, you know, at least the a transfer fee for Miles Robinson because if it's just at the end of 2023, he could just, you know, pretty much walk. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much preserving his value there. So I think that's actually a smart thing to do here. But, um, yeah, in terms of, uh, yeah, Matias Asetu with the, oh, it's 600,000 uh, plus next year. Um yeah, it's uh, it's very very interesting because Bocanegra he said that, um, you know, Gonzalo Pineda yeah he liked uh, you know Josetu and uh, you know he was captaining the side at times but that's the question is is he worth that much when you know assist wise goals wise he just really hasn't offered that much um, and you know. Uh, keeping the the team ticking, okay, uh, he's able to do that. But uh, just as an overall player, I think he's left a lot to be desired. But uh, next up is that uh, LA United they signed uh, Brooks Lennon to a contract extension through the 2025 MLS season uh, with an option for 2026. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Bocanegra said that uh, we're pleased to sign Brooks to a long-term contract with our club. Uh, Brooks has been one of our, our most consistent performers over the past few seasons. He's coming into the prime of his career and provides great MLS experience for our group. And uh, he consistently gets into dangerous positions on the field and creates chances for us. And we're excited for his future at LA United. I mean, it's, uh, you know... I think it's a it's a decent signing. I mean, you know, as a right back, he's fairly productive and you know, defensively pretty uh, decent as well. I mean, we could do worse than Brooks Lennon. It's uh, just a matter of is he, uh, you know, the type of player that uh, you know we sh should be building around a little bit. Uh, you know, does he have the players in front of him that can uh, put his type of balls away uh, into the back of the nets? Just the eternal question because he loves, he loves a uh, a high cross, you know. So, but 
uh, at the end of the day, he is a workhorse as well and uh, is, like Bokenegger is saying, he is very consistent. But, um, yeah, and so uh, next bit of news is that, um, yeah, the uh, U.S. men's national team was announced, and, of course, Miles Robinson was not part of it. Uh, it's a bummer. The injury really pretty much uh, stripped him of his chance to be able to play. Uh, in this uh, World Cup, and it's, uh, yeah, just a shame. But, um, yeah, Jordan Zimmerman, uh, he's who's a Georgia native, he is uh, going to be part of it, and, uh, you know, probably at times uh, likely the captain. So uh, at least uh, Georgia gets a little bit of, uh, you know, some showing out there. But, um, yeah, there are some uh, watch parties for... Uh, LA United for the FIFA World Cup. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, catch their website for some of the, you know, venues that they will be hosting some watch parties. It uh, no doubt will be uh, fairly fun and interesting. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's going to be a pretty, in terms of the World Cup, uh, really interesting bit here where, you know, uh, there's a lot of human rights issues, but. Yeah, I mean it's a World Cup. It's it's just a it's difficult to uh, you know completely just kind of zone out uh, during this time. But uh, at the very least, if you're interested in the World Cup, uh, follow our Discord. The uh, links are in the description below. Uh, we have a, a little competition going. Uh, shout out to associate producer Michael Weiss. Uh, he has set up this uh, this little tourney. So all you got to do is fill out the bracket and you can potentially, uh, if you win uh, because of how good your bracket is, then you might win some gear, a t-shirt from our uh, LA United Fan TV store. So yeah, uh, join up and it, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, you know, how far, uh, you know, everyone gets on their bracket. I will be doing one as well. Check it out in the Discord. We can all have some banter and see uh, how we fare at the end of the tournament. But uh, last bit of news. Uh, congratulations to Franco Escobar, who is now a two-time MLS Cup champion. Uh, of course, LAFC, uh, who he's, uh, he was playing with uh, this previous season. He won it. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's... It's just it was it is what it is. I mean, it's uh, it's weird to see him in a different uniform, but also uh, I'm happy for him that he uh, he wanted another MLS Cup. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, news for this episode, and pretty much the entire episode as well, except for the question of the day. And the question of the day is: Will you be watching the uh, Qatar 2022 World Cup? even though there's a lot of human rights issues and all that. But let us know in the comments below. Looking forward to what you have to say. But guys, that is the episode. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I've been AJ. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.